Previously on my channel, I showed y'all my 2020 skincare journey and how I cleared my painful cystic acne and hyperpigmentation. I'll link the video above in a card and below in the description box for you guys to see. Um, but in today's video, I'll be sharing just a few of many real ass skin related tips that helped me. So I hope you enjoy this video. I think for me over the past year, what I've learned, past year and some change really, what I've learned um, was that for one, acne is a condition like a lot of people suffer from um, acne prone skin, oily, combination, whatever skin type you have, but having acne is not something that is necessarily bad. It is just a condition and you live with it and you just learn to manage it. Um, I mean, we've all went through puberty and et cetera, but not everybody um, no longer has acne after they're 18, you know what I mean? It, like it for some people, like for even my mom, she still deals with acne and she's 50 something. And that's just genetics. And I just have to know how to manage and take care of it because that's what it is. Number two of what I learned is that everyone has different skin, different skin types so that everyone's products or necessarily how they use it, how they apply it, the techniques that they use won't necessarily work for you. Sometimes you have to just find your rhythm, but I think being educated on what ingredients there is, things that clash, things that go well together, and what nights to use them, how to space things out, I think is gonna definitely give you more insight on how to create your own routine and be sufficient in managing your acne and just having clear skin. Number three of what I learned was having this dichotomy of like good skin versus bad skin or glass skin, etc. Like I think is an unhealthy way to think about your skin. Over time, I was really kind of really shook at how the acne flare up of my skin, like how that really happened. And it made me really insecure. But then I also have to realize like, some of the things are a part of life. You know what I'm saying? You can't think of things as good and bad and that's it. Or like when you're working out, think of like good food and bad food, like that creates an unhealthy association with certain things. And if you have acne or acne prone skin and you see people talking about having bad skin, you're always gonna associate with what you have as something bad that you need to get rid of and it's honestly something that's very normal for a lot of us so we really shouldn't think about having that like if we have acne or we have pimples or we have whatever like yeah that's not the norm of being good but also doesn't mean that it's horrible and it's bad you're just managing an acne flare up you know it's definitely something that's a work in progress like I still have to like check myself because if I have a, a, a pimple, I'm like, oh my god. But it's just like, okay, like, you know what to do. Number four is don't purchase a bunch of products all at the same time and then start using them all at the same time because you definitely won't know if your skin starts to get irritated or if it's just purging or what product caused that. If you're using everything new at the same time, you're gonna have to dial everything back and start over again and like filter it in one, at, one product at a time. So I started with this Polish Choice and then I eventually was like putting in more actives and then I realized that I had to dial it back, mix in hydration with the actives because if you have too many actives, you're gonna fuck up your skin and you won't necessarily have a good moisture barrier. So you have to make sure that you're giving your skin the amount of time to acclimate to a new product or new active and see how it, how it likes it before you start adding in everything else. And I would say give yourself like two weeks to um, test and trial a product before you um, just put it into your routine. Five, I think I'm on, or number six, of the things I learned was that drinking water and, and living a healthy lifestyle or being healthy or eating healthy and clean doesn't necessarily mean um, that you're gonna have great skin. Like for the longest, I felt like I was doing all those things and my skin was still not adjusting to what I needed it to be. Like it was still very painful. I wasn't managing it like how I needed to be. Sometimes it takes, you know, chemical based products or ingredients to help on the outside topically rather than just what's inside. Like, yeah, your skin will be hydrated from the inside if you're healthy. But basically, I'm trying to say eating clean and drinking water is not the end all be all for having great skin. It's genetics. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning into my video. And I hope that. You guys got something from this. You learned something. See y'all in my next one.